Bring me the next shiny new thing. Bring me the next. The pickleball chicks are obsessed with America's fastest growing sport, pickleball. Get ready for on and off the court hot topics, lots of laughs, cocktails, and champagne with your hosts, Annie and Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Annie. And we're the Pickleball Chicks. Hey, it's a new year. Happy, happy new year, 2023. Happy new year, Annie. Happy new year, Rebecca. Thank you. So today we want to talk about how we are going to manifest more pickleball in the new year. Absolutely. And you can raise your pickleball vibe with the pickleball chicks. So yes, you can. <laughs> our guest today is Fu Ye. He's one of our favorite people, owner and founder of Pick Ninja Sports. We are so excited to have him. He's so fabulous. Everything about him we love. Absolutely. And such a wonderful person in our community. We have so many fun things to talk with you about, Fouye. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me, Annie and Rebecca. Um, I, I'm very humbled by what you're saying, and I don't feel that way, you know, but I'll try my best to be fabulous and amazing and whatever else you guys have mentioned. <laughs> so, um, and I want to say how striking you look in the pickleball chick hat. Oh yeah, no, thank you for the, the merchandise. It's awesome. You know, uh, I did, I had to mention that I did get a shirt from you too as well, but I had to give that to my wife because it did not fit me because I'm not as fit as I used to be. <laughs> she has not returned that back, so she loves it. So thank you for oh, that. Great. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's excellent. Um, oh, we love that. Okay, so we start every podcast with our drink of the day. Mm -hmm. And oh, because we have Foulier on. It is called the Pink Ninja. Bravo. And go ahead. Yes. So wow. it is blue raspberry vodka. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shot up with some lemonade on the side. Ooh. And it is called the Pink Ninja. And I think we should have that. Now, remember, everybody at home can either make one of these or grab a drink for whatever you like for the day. I and love it. we also have to mention our word of the day. Mm -hmm. And when we say our word of the day, you drink. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, Fouye, guess what the word of the day is today? Um, happiness. Ooh, that's oh, that's a good one. That would have been a good Shoot. one, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's paddle. Ooh. What is it? Paddle. Paddle. So Paddle. let's yeah. have a sip. And we want to cheers to a, an amazing 2023 and all the fabulous things that we're going to do with Fouye and Pick Ninja Sports this year. Oh, yes. Super cheers. Excited. Thank you, ladies. Cheers. cheers. Here we go. Everybody's drinking. Oh, wow. It's really good. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, every drink that we have would not, or, or during the podcast, would not be complete without Rebecca's. Ah, she <laughs> loves it. <laughs> it's always hard to take, but I do really like it. <laughs> I love it. Wow, that was really good. I haven't had oh, a drink in a so while. So. Okay. Well, thank you again for joining us, Fouye. We're just so pleased and, and really tickled pink, if we could. That's why we're wearing pink today. No. For you. Look yeah. fabulous. Thank you. Well, and as everyone knows, your pink Assassin Pro paddle was the paddle we have granted pickleball chicks with. Yes. Oh. We really, really felt it was part of our family. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <did. laughs> and such a wonderful paddle. And... It brought us such joy and happiness and I fun. I know. And everywhere we went, we found another Pick Ninja Pal. We did. In Minnesota. Oh. Everywhere we went, mm -hmm. we would search out another Pick Ninja person. And that's mm -hmm. cool. That's yeah. awesome. No, congrats to that. I mean, it's so, it's so great to hear because, you know, again, the story behind that is, it's, you know, my daughter is the one that helped me create the paddle. She initially was, you know, 
you know, when we first started playing, she was like, dad, I want to get my own paddle. And I was like, sure, Kennedy, let's go up there and see what we can find. And again, she was six years old at the time. She's now nine, but we went out to the Shields and the Dick Sporting Goods and we looked at all the paddles and she was like, dad, I, I want like Wonder Woman. I want like, you know, Spider Girl or something cool. And I was like, I don't think they have those yet, Kennedy. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. And she said, dad, how come you, why don't you just make me a paddle, dad? And I was like, maybe I will. It's COVID. I got nothing else to do at home, right? So let, let's, keep, let's see what I can stay busy with. And so eventually I made those paddles and, you know, made a little a ninja, a little ninja because she was like, I want something powerful that I can be inspired by that can, you know, uh, uh, be feel like I'm out there, like, you know, doing great things and, and, and not not afraid of, of anyone, dad. And I was like, that's really cool. So I'll create a little ninja for you. And I did that. And people just started loving it. They saw us playing it with it on the courts and they kept asking us where we got it from. And I was like, do you guys really like this paddle? I mean, you know, we started taking some names down and all of a sudden we had like, you know, 50 to hundred people on the list. And we're like, maybe we should make some paddles. And eventually wow. that's kind of how it started. And so thank you for sharing your story about, you know, that, that, that paddle. And again, inspired by my, my, my little daughter who, uh, you know, kind of made us who we are today. So thank you. I love your story wow. so much. <clears throat> um, so, so what about your paddle? Tell us some highlights about your new paddle, which we're so excited about. And, and I'd like to just say again, how much fun mm -hmm. I had at your kickoff party for your new paddle. Oh yeah, no, it was an amazing event. I mean, before that I was actually super stressed out. I was so scared because we we're dealing with customs to get my paddles into the U.S. Um, you know, even logistics, logistically from China, where we manufacture our paddles, they had been dealing with, you know, heavy doses of COVID, you know, in, in those parts of the area. They had the war in Ukraine still going on and it's still going on. So, like, there was a lot of things up in the air, which didn't really allow for, you know, a holiday shipping to arrive on time. Right. So we're probably three or four weeks behind schedule. And Rick and I, who was awesome enough to, you know, give us the facility to use for free, you know, we were like, man, Fuya, I don't know if it's going to happen. We had set a date, but we didn't really make it public yet until we knew that the paddles had arrived because you can't have a party without the new paddles, right? Right. We were going to be at Mega Pickle and Pong, yes. Yes, yep, at Mega Pickle and Pong with Rick and his team. And so eventually we had four, you know, they arrived all of a sudden and we had four days to promote this thing. And we just <laughs> scrambled my team together, my wife. Uh, my volunteers, you know, you know, they, you know, they all, they know who they all are, but a bunch of family members and close friends that, you know, especially ladies like yourself that helped cross promote this across every social media platform. And we were sold out twice. Oh, yeah. good for you. Wow. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, just again, very humbled by the community, you know, waiting for this new paddle that to come out. And so every time we say paddle, are we supposed to drink or is that just me? Oh, <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> I just want to drink some more of the Seven Up mixture. Thank you, right? mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed that. We Cheers to that. Cheers to but that. Yeah. I'm kind. You know, <laughs> you, my friend, are super fun. Not only are you kind yes. and smart and humble, humble, oh. super fun, mm -hmm. and that's our style. Fun. I wish your kids were in the podcast. Oh yeah, they. Um, oh, Kennedy would love it. She's nine years old now, and so um, she would be very, very, you know, inspired to talk about, you know, how it all began with her too. So I think maybe, yeah, one of these days I should bring her along. Yeah. It was so cool. Like, even you know, funny. Yesterday, one of our teachers came to the house to pick up a paddle. Oh. And. Oh. He, oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> You just purposely try to say that word now. That's right. And for those of you listening and not watching, we did say no. paddles, so pick that glass up. Yes. No. And pick the glass up of whatever drink you like or one of ours. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. So, going back to my story with uh, Kennedy's teacher, he came by the house. He had heard about Pick Ninja because Kennedy would wear the Pick, the Pick Ninja you know, hoodies to school and whatnot. And everybody's like, what's Pick Ninja? What's Pick Ninja? And the teacher's like, you know, I've heard of that brand. How did you get that hoodie? And she's like, that's my dad's company. Oh, and, she came, oh. and she came home one day and she was like, dad, guess what? You're famous. People know you. My teachers know who you are. Yes. And I was oh. like, thank you, Kennedy. 
I appreciate that. Like, I can't believe that people recognize our brand because they all play pickleball now too, like teachers and gym gym teachers, whatnot. And he came out and bought a paddle from us, and I, it just was so like heartwarming to hear that from the local community, right? So you know that is so so precious. I really mm-hmm. love the story, our children, and and my father owned a business, and and it is it's exciting. It is exciting. And you said the word community. Mm-hmm. Now, Ninja Sports is a community driven company yes absolutely so and tell the, us a little bit more about that mm-hmm. yeah so you know when i came out to start this business with with the family you know you know well in my previous you know full-time position my nine my last nine to five job i was actually the tennis director at a, a little nonprofit called saint paul urban tennis and i managed over 80 tennis coaches i had about four or five supervisors underneath me and we had programming for, for junior and adult tennis all throughout the city of St. Paul. And we had over 3,000 kids in our programs on an annual basis. And I managed that. And uh, our goal at the time was to teach, you know, leadership and life skills through the sport of tennis as our vehicle to teach the children this stuff. So I take this, you know, this mission that I had before and I try to use, utilize it with pickleball. Because my goal was to help my kids do something during COVID, and eventually they loved it. And now we want to spread this joy for every family out there, for every community member, whether you're 8 years old or 80 years old, to join us. And so, you know, we give out, we give free um, youth lessons out, you know, a few times a year. Um, I'm always out there in the community, you know, uh, playing in in their open rec games and just trying to, like, you know, give back and show that, you know, um, this game's for everybody. And, yeah. and, and again, I know that for sure when, if I didn't have tennis in my life, ladies, I would have been another statistic out there. You know, we grew up very poor. We didn't have very much growing up and tennis kind of saved, you know, my brother and I's life. You know, we, you know, I, I, you know, I was born out in, um, Orange County, California, and we did have, we, you know, we had very, very meager beginnings. And when we started playing tennis, we actually didn't have enough money to get lessons from anybody. So we would, we would go and like, you know, pick out, you know, free videos from free VHS videos from the library and try to learn from those. Or we'd take like people's old tennis magazines and like, you know, try to, you know, reenact different shots that we saw, you know, in these magazines. And like, we just taught ourselves how to play tennis and we became actually pretty decent at it to the point where I got to play some college tennis. And, uh, you know, I, I got a, I got an academic scholarship to go play division three wow. you know, tennis down in Arkansas. And it really changed my life. My brother did the same thing, you know, uh, two years behind me, my brother charter. And so, you know, I owe it to, to tennis as a sport that really helped me find my, find myself, find my confidence to do something with my life. Right. Because mm-hmm. before that I was this shy, timid little, you know, Hmong American boy that, had no idea what you know how to how to find my voice in the world, and, and now you now you have reached a point where your daughter is coming to you and feeling so proud and saying, "You're a star." Yeah, no, and I totally believe in sports. It's an equalizer. Yes. You know, um, you know, I know even for my own daughter, she's you know she dealt with bullying growing up, and and she's dealt with being different because you know yeah we we live here in Egan, Minnesota, and. And during COVID, you know, there were many times where we just looked different and we looked and, you know, at the time people were like, oh, you guys have the virus because you guys are from China. I was like, well, we're not from China. We live in Egan, Minnesota. But, you know, we do look like people from China, even though we're we're Hmong Americans. But my kids didn't understand that. Right. You know, and so we got the brunt of that, you know, during COVID. And it just it was a hard time for everybody. Right. Yes. So. Uh, I was very thankful that we found pickleball and it kind of helped us change our lives and really just really like find our path and, and, and inspired us to to be better than what was happening during the that, during that time frame. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, so sorry that that happened. And mm-hmm. we're really, uh, you know, COVID sounds like it brought so much to your yeah. life, good, bad, and you found mm-hmm. that path to help people and to make the best of it. And wow, look where you've come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we're so thankful. And we just, I I still can't believe how much, 
you know, how, how people have embraced our little, you know, pickleball company here from Minnesota. I mean, we've sent paddles all over the country. We've sent paddles all over the world, Canada, Norway. I'm just like, how'd you guys hear about us? Right. So mm -hmm. um, super humbled that people are, are seeing what we're, what we're doing and believing in our mission here. When we came back from Marco, we started playing in Marco, mm -hmm. Marco Island, Florida. Yep. And when we came back, we needed a paddle and we had been recommended to pick up the pick ninja and it was pink wow. which which worked with everything we love <laughs> but now we really want to hear all the highlights and what makes your new revenant paddle yes, yes. so oh, yes. great because ah. it, oh my gosh i'm so glad because <laughs> mine is in the other room um yeah. and we do have to do a shout out to mindy Engage, who we just played with like oh. 20 minutes ago. Wow. Kept us on the court and we were pushed. <laughs> Ooh, we just awesome. want to play one more because we truly love your paddle so much. I'm not kidding, Fouye. It's been so oh, great. So the you take the mic yeah. and tell us all this good stuff. Please. So I appreciate you mentioning that. Um, this has been about a year in the making, ladies. Um, the Revenant, uh, first off, the name by itself. Uh, if you if you look up the Revenant name on Google or whatnot, or the movie uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio, one of my favorite movies of all time, um, the Revenant is actually something that dies and comes back to life and resurrects itself, right? And so I felt like in tennis or pickleball, you know, you're never out of a game or a match. Oh. You could be down zero to ten and still, you know, believe in yourself to come back and fight and claw your way back into a match and win it still. And so I felt like that's the tenacity and the never give up attitude that we want to instill into our players when we yeah. get on the courts with, with this paddle. Um, not only that is with my, you know, teaching tennis background, college tennis background, high level tennis, we, we sought out to create a tennis player's paddle. So, you know what I'm saying? We're saying paddle a lot. Maybe we should drink to that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a true tennis player's paddle. It, you know, we took all, you know, we took, we went out there and saw all the top carbon fiber paddles that were, were out there at the time. The Ben Johns Hyperion, the, you know, Electrum Ease, the, you know, carbon paddles. And we actually, we played with them and we said, we we're like, you know what, we like these, but we don't like this part of it. So we created something that's more balanced. So we actually didn't like the, the complete length of what those were. They, uh, so we actually shortened this paddle by a quarter of an inch and added that to the, the, to the sides of the width here. So it actually is a little shorter than those paddles, but it actually opens up the sweet spot and it becomes more balanced now. We also open up the throat for the people that play with the two-handed backhand from tennis, mm -hmm. which is what I'm developed now too as well. And that two-hander has made a huge difference in our game because yeah. now I can, I mean, you see all the top players hitting these big two-handed backhands, especially with Anthony Waters. And so I was like, you know, I got to develop that if I want to stay relevant to the, to the high level game. And mm -hmm. so with those added additions and uh, obviously the, the Torre 700 carbon surface, which is actually the top, you know, uh, brand of you know, carbon fiber in the market right now. We actually went to them directly and said, you know what, we want your surface. And so our surface is actually uh, much stronger and lasts a lot longer than a lot of the other brands out there. And wow. so so you know again just picking and choosing what we like from every other company and then all of a sudden we put a little brand on there and made it happen and now we've been just i don't even tell people about the paddle i just say go try it on your own and then come back to me with questions and they it sells itself so we're just so happy that people are believing in it giving it a shot and now they're we're converting so many players over from you know selkirk and paddle tech and and uh you know yola and it just, I was like, wow, like, this is really awesome to hear from people, especially since we're, we're not a huge brand, right? So, and we uh, have seen that from many yeah. people switching over mm -hmm. to the brands on social media and saying that they want your paddle. Yes, yeah, we no. have. <laughs> yeah, so, so bravo. It's meant a lot to us. So, thank you so much, ladies. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I've got a question for you, Fuye. Mm -hmm. um, if you, could play doubles with anyone, any pro or anyone, not even a pro, anybody wow. from pickleball. 
who would that be as your partner? Mm. Anyone? If I could play with anybody out there, I would probably play with my wife. Oh, <laughs> oh such a the great reason, answer. The reason I, I say that is because I, I, I have played with some pros before and it's been super fun, but my wife completely is like, you know, she's only she's only been committed for about the last year into pickleball because she's like, what? Why do you love it so much for you? Let me try it. Oh my goodness, she loves it now, and she's always telling me that I don't play with her enough. So if I could choose, you know, my 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 pro partner, it would be my wife because she deserves it. You know, she's always uh, seeking me out, and I feel bad because I'm always turning her down and playing with other people because they all want to play with me too. Yeah, and yeah. so I so I know that she's been so patient and so like you know, understanding of not playing with me every time. And in the long run, we look, when we reflect back on our playing time, we don't hardly ever play with each other. So, you know, I think that she would appreciate that and she deserves that. And so I would choose my wife. Oh, a little Bravo. tear right here. I feel, <laughs> I feel it's Valentine's day coming up. <laughs> yeah, no, she's, she's the backbone of our company. I mean, I, it's funny. Yeah. I talked about this even at the event where, yeah. you know, she's really good about, staying on top of me for the accounting and the finances of the business where I'm kind of like out there just doing my thing, being involved in the community and, you know, making it inclusive for everybody. But, mm -hmm. you know, behind the scenes, my wife is always like, you know, here, if we, you know, you haven't sent this check in, you haven't bought this yet. You haven't done this. I'm like, thank you, dear. I totally forgot <laughs> about that. Thank so, you, dear. You know. Oh, <laughs> you know, being a family man, which you are, mm -hmm. is something that we have been finding with the people that we've been meeting. Tyson McGuffin, we had interviewed him at the oh, draft. Yeah. And, oh. and the first thing he said is, I'm a family man. The first, first thing I thing. hear you saying, mm -hmm. you're a family man. Rick Gray right. with me, I'm a family yes. man. And 100%. that oh. is beautiful. That's what we're looking Thank for. Thank you. Yeah. And that's, and again, that's our priority first and foremost, right? I'm not, I didn't come here to create a company for myself or anything, right? Mm -hmm. the, again, it's like you said, it's a community driven company and we did it because of our kids. We just wanted to get them out doing something during COVID. Yes. And so just by surprise that we lucked out and got into something that we really believe in and, and has been working for us. So, you know. Isn't that great? I just love it. I so love it too. And you know, I have just been so excited to ask you this question yeah so you're community driven which mm -hmm. and i again have seen time and time again no yep. matter where we go yep. mm -hmm. and so what do you think about rebecca's high school pal mm. steve Cohn? <laughs> what do you think what? about his 40 i graduated with him yes no yes. same class yes same school <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same school. Rebecca, same school, same what? class. And we Steve just saw him at the, at the draft of the MLP we draft. We did in just Vegas. see him. Yeah. yeah, you guys were out there. Get yeah, him on our podcast. Yeah. No yeah. way. He would yeah. be an awesome Isn't addition. That funny. He's like the nicest guy out there too, and he's I like know. done so well for himself. So I know absolutely, yeah. and I just love his forty by thirty. Project 40 million pickleball players by 2030. Right. That's wow. right on your And that's Let's so go. in alignment yeah. to you mm -hmm. and uh, to what you stand for with your community focus, you, your really, your dedication mm -hmm. to making sure that pickleball is inclusive for all skill levels, mm -hmm. all ages. Right. And I think we need to really remember that. So tell me this, Thuye. Um, if you had now, I know the pros and the all kinds of things are going on in the pickleball world. Mm -hmm. Um, are you following any particular players? Um, you know, some of the pros, even the amateur. Well, are you following anybody in particular? Um, you know, kind of through your journey where you mm -hmm. like their style of play or somebody that you've kind of followed? Yeah. So um, I've been very fortunate to meet uh, Zane Navratilova. Oh, we love him. Yes. Awesome we guy. Love him. Yeah. I mean, he's been in Minnesota to, to do classes. He's worked with some of our friends here in town for, you know, he's, I think on a documentary right now. Uh, Chris oh. Olson of Pickleball Studios is working with him directly. 
Um, and I had the opportunity to work with him on a, you know, at a, a while well, I was in his lessons, right? But uh, he was down in Rochester and I signed up for his lessons, but he was actually using me as like his, you know, his example guy, right? Like, hey, Fuye, come over here and, you know, let's show him how to do this, show him how to do that. And I was like, this is so cool. Like, Zane's asking me to come help him, you know? And so uh, we we got to talking. He knows about, he knows about our, our company. He, you know, he's got a few pick ninja paddles himself just to demo for people. And uh, he, I know he loves what we're doing. And I think he's also another community guy. Um, nice. One of the most, you know, uh, you know, uh, highest integrity guys out there on the pickleball courts. Yeah. And he, and again, he's a, he gives everything out there. He gives it his all. And I've always loved that attitude in players and he's super positive. Um, and I've never, and also like, if you look, so, watch some of his commercials, those duper commercials, he's like the funniest guy too, on top of that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we, we get along really well. I mean, we, we message each other back and forth about different things. And so uh, I love keeping up with Zane. I know he's got a new, a new uh, paddle coming out with the, with the surprise company that he hasn't announced yet, but I'm excited to see what, you know, where that goes and, and I uh, will continue to keep in touch with him and, and watch his journey grow. So. He is a nice man. And Leslie Roberts, one of the trainers we had on our podcast <clears throat> podcast ago, mm -hmm. years ago, I think, actually is Zane's trainer. Oh, wow. And so we saw Zane at the, the Bob Lake, Lake tournament. And mm -hmm. we were actually practicing a little bit because our play started the next day. Mm -hmm. And we didn't we think did we had our phones. So we didn't <laughs> <have> to, yeah, <laughs> It was weird. It was so great to see him because we wanted to send Leslie a picture. Blah, 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 blah. But it was nice to see him. And he's such a sincere, kind guy. So that was, oh. that was fun. Yes. It's a small world, them. You guys are connected to everybody. So, you know, in a short amount of time, too. I mean, geez. I, I think I've only met you guys for the last few months. And, and yeah. you guys have been really just like, so passionate and so so you know so so much energy into growing what you're doing and i love that about you ladies so keep that up thank you oh we really you. have had yeah. fun lots of fun and you know it did start with our pick ninja paddle <laughs> <laughs> oh. you know it seems weird <laughs> but it's actually really true it is true i mean we just we've loved it right. and everyone has loved it and we are so grateful to know you and to have the opportunity to share more about you with those listeners that we have so fortunately accumulated over the past few months. And um, we hope that we will be able to play with you on the court sometime soon. And yeah, you and your wife. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no. You and your wife, because you guys yes. are a partnership and we're a partnership. Totally. No, I think that would be awesome. I mean, you know, whenever you guys get back into town, or maybe we'll make it out there to Marco Island with you guys, right? Ooh, that would be good. Now that's a that great idea. That would be good. Yeah. I like, I like that, that idea. Well. As long as you're okay with three wild kids running around while you're playing pickleball, you know. Well, this <laughs> <laughs> now we did. I did not get to meet your kids at the kickoff mm -hmm. party, but who I do always love seeing is your friend Yoshi. Oh, yeah. now he oh, yes. Yes. is a great guy. He is cool. The first time we met him was at Minneapolis Cider. Yeah, what are the odds of that, huh? And he had yes, another big ninja paddle, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we were in the space for our Eat, Dink, and Be Merry event. And we looked and, and we saw shirts and sweatshirts and paddles. And mm -hmm. we're like, wait a minute. Let's look at our panel. <laughs> it's kind of like that thing that motorcycle drivers do or the people that drive the Jeeps, whatever. It's like, oh, no. pick ninja. Oh, <laughs> That's what you need is when somebody has a pick ninja paddle, you just like right. this. What up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, Jeff Thompson, Yoshi, awesome guy. You know, I had the opportunity to work with him at one of my first corporate companies back in like 2000 five or six and we worked together for many many years as a you know in, in a, an it you know um it you know consulting company and we've been kind of keep you know we kept in touch via social media but he started playing pickleball and he's like Fuye, um i hear you're the guy to play pickleball and and yoshi has been a supreme athlete all his life i mean he's just i think he's like a nationally ranked softball player and yeah. been playing baseball and softball, you know, for many, many years on the national scene. And so the fact that he actually wanted to slow down and play pickleball, 
you know, it, it might have, it, it might have seemed like you know childish to him because he's he's such a strong guy, but when he tried it, he loved it, and then he was like, Fouye, I want to rep your brand. I love what you're doing <laughs> with the community. I love, you know, I've already, I, you know, we already know each other, and we love, you know, hanging out with each other, and so like, let me be that guy up up north for you. So he's one of my my top ambassadors on the north side, and he's always out there just living and believing in the dream with us. So uh, we appreciate, you know, Jeff Thompson, Yoshi um, up in that area. So yeah, mm -hmm. very well, thankful. He, he's great. And he's a doer. He just is a, he's always trying to connect people mm -hmm. together. Oh, and yes. I just like his style. And he was so fun at your party and he yeah. pushed me in super quickly to do the super fun. I just have to say this. This is what I thought was so <laughs> cool. That party yeah. Was to do where everybody could try your paddle. Yeah. And drink Fouye, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yep. And <laughs> um, and so then you had the speed reader, the what's that? Yeah, called? the speed gun. The speed, speed gun. gun. Yeah. Reader, yes. Okay. Speed gun. Yeah. And um, it was so exciting to see the speed and have everybody. I mean, yeah. it was and then my name was on the board, and I oh. love the team and all that jazz. Oh, it was so much fun. Like we, yeah, Jeff had came up with the idea that he wanted to bring out a speed radar gun and have a little speed radar gun test with our paddles to see how, how quickly they can serve the ball. Eventually, it became it became like a slugfest because nobody's serve was going in with, with the speech that we're hitting. <laughs> right? So we have to regulate that for the next year. But it was a lot of fun to see everybody just trying their hardest to hit, you know, to try to get up to like 60, 70 miles an hour. And some of those guys did. So I, I was just wow. impressed with how, how, I don't know, how much power they could, you know bang out with that ball so and you were at i think you were you were like the leader on the board for a while too as, on the lady side so, so exciting great Yay. job yeah. <laughs> you know and i do have to say regarding your paddles something that i have personally been working on for my game is the two-handed backhand awesome. and the paddle yeah. mm -hmm. Revenant, i love it i i feel in control right i just feel solid i i, I love it no. So I wanted to share that with you, that I really have noticed the benefit of that two-handed for the backhand. I really right. like it. No. Even when you're at the kitchen on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. because I love playing the kitchen on the left. <laughs> right. So um, 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 does everybody? I don't know. <laughs> when I'm on the right, I'm like, okay, well, I'm waiting for that serve. I've got two hands right. on that paddle. Right. Because I, it just... It just makes me feel like I'm ready. She's going to kill somebody with it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, you see the pros do that, right? The, the Anna Lee Waters out there, the Kawamoto's. I mean, everyone's singing that two-handed tennis backhand. And it. one thing about that, that shot is you can generate a lot more power and control at the same time. Mm -hmm. But you can also disguise a lot of shots because, you know, with, with the two-hander, you can kind of snap it any way you like. And it's very, very, you know, deceiving to, 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 to see where that's coming from. Guess what? Yeah. I, have to, I have to give Annie a shout out. Ooh. So playing today, we were doing our thing. We never really get to play together. I feel like every league we're on, we have to separate. Oh, yeah. And we've been trying to play together. So we're playing. We finally mm. get to play together. And I'm telling her, like, months ago, I'm going to do an Ernie. I'm going to do an Ernie. Well, I haven't yet, but I'm going to. No, you guys... I'm going to try to, but Annie, <laughs> she's up at the net. She's rocking her style and she hits it. And I think it's going cross court. Everybody thinks it's going cross court. She nails it down the line. And we all look at her like, oh, <laughs> it, was, it was my little faker one. The game was going really, really, really fast. And all of a sudden, the way the ball was coming, I saw that I had like some time, like they were expecting me to pound it back. Mm -hmm. But instead, I did do a double hander. It was a double hander. And I just put oh. the ball where they didn't expect. And I said to Rebecca, I've been working on that. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and I could tell. And that's <laughs> because of my Revenant paddle. Yes. Oh, I fell in love this year. Awesome. I touched it. Yeah. No, oh, thank you so much for having me. And, and going back to like our brand, right? Like, not only are we a community driven company, you know, we sought out to also have some of the coolest merchandise out there like mm -hmm. you know I, that's one thing that my kids felt like we didn't they didn't have in pickleball was a really cool you know brand like the little ninja here 
right? Yes. Do that. Like, yeah. you know, I've had I've had professional players come up to us and say, Fuye, can I have a hoodie? Can I have a hat? I love that little ninja, little pickleball ninja. Oh and I'm like, yeah, like can you can you tag us and 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 you know tell us that you 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 met me and this and that? And they're like, oh Fuye, sorry, I'm sponsored by Selkirk, I'm sponsored by Franklin, I can't do that for you. And I'm like, oh what? Well then <laughs> what's the point of me giving you any free like stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> <You're> right? <laughs> But that means a lot to us, right? Like, we actually have some pretty cool branding, and I'm very proud that people like what we're throwing out there for people. So, you know, whether it's like, you know, we also have new wristbands now. We've got some, uh, you know, I got this new, like, Pick Ninja. Um, I don't know if you can see that on there. Pick Ninja uh, uh, wraps for the. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're expanding our accessories and. And, you know, again, giving people what they want. Like, we're going to have a backpack coming out this year. We're going to have, um, you know, again, more and more things, you know, more ladies apparel, right? You know, so something we want to work with, we work with pickleball chicks on, too. Maybe have some, like, really cool, you know, joint partnerships with, with some strategic partners in town here. So yes. um, just very excited to grow with everybody around us. So oh, yeah, so wonderful. What a wonderful yeah. guest. What a wonderful man. What a cool guy. I know. Wow. Ladies, same, right back to you, ladies. You know, we you guys are I love the fire and energy to grow this game. And we 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 need people like this out there, like like what you're doing. And so thank you for you know adopting our brand into your streams and into all your social media. We're just very humbled by the fact that you guys chose us out of all the millions of brands out there. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> you know what? Let's do one more cheers to such a fabulous guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, ladies. Cheers. All right. And please say hello to your sweet daughter and your wonderful wife and your other we'll children. We'll do. Yep. Let's yep. Forget about them. Let's and with your family. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And thank you so very much again. Yeah. Enjoy your time out there. Hopefully we can make it down there uh, before the, the snow melts, right? That would be fun. <laughs> and we'll also be back for in February mm -hmm. for the Lakeville Lifetime. PPA. Oh, nice. Play with, yeah. the pros. Play with the pros. Yep. We'll so we'll see, my... see you there, right? I will be there. I don't know if I'm playing yet. I've been asked for, by a few players to play, but um, I haven't had the time to condition and commit myself to getting better uh, at that higher level, right? Where I want to be at to play. So oh. we'll see what happens. Yeah. You know, and we'd like to have you back as a guest and talk more about your play. We know oh, that you sure. play a lot, and it'd be fun to have you come back and talk more about your pickleball play. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We, have, we have one more question for you, oh, yes. which we always like to ask our guests because this is such a cool thing. Mm -hmm. is we want to know your favorite moment in your personal mm. pickleball journey playing. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Favorite moment in pickleball? Um, gosh, I think uh, maybe you know, you know, I've I've done a lot of these um, these youth events, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, maybe it was two years ago. It was I, I actually partnered up with my old um, my old nonprofit St. Barbara Tennis at their annual picnic event, and they have like hundreds of kids show up for this stuff. And so we were able to touch a lot of different different juniors and teach them how to play pickleball. But like my daughter played in with that group and it just she was actually teaching them how to play pickleball because she's more familiar with it than they were. Yeah. And it just meant so much to me to see her like giving back to other little kids that were her age or even younger. And to see, you know, the growth of my little six, seven year old daughter doing that just Aww. meant so much to me. And again, going back to family, community, it just all kind of all came together at that moment. And I was like, I would love to pass all this stuff down into my children. And I think that it would mean something to them and not just to me anymore. And so um, I would be very proud if they, you know, lived and breathed this just as much as we did. And, you know, it doesn't have to be pickleball, but, you know, sports or just being a good person and being good human beings. I think that means so much more to me than anything. So, um, you know, moments like that, that I just, I, I love. So thank you. Well, wow. What a nice, yeah. 
answer. Yes, thank you for yeah. sharing that with us. And I we've think... really gotten a lot of great stories oh. from Fouillet. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. I've been I've been very blessed with you know with the 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 scene around me, and I've you know I've been around you know pickleball for over three years now, and you know I got to I got to thank my people too. Like I, you know my buddies, my tennis buddies, Chris Holler and the crew. He's my the captain of my old four or five USTA tennis team. And uh, he introduced me to pickleball for the first time, but we did it as a, it was like beer pickleball, right? You <laughs> make a, you miss a shot, you got to drink, a, drink a, chug a beer down or something. And we were like, we don't want to miss any more shots because we're, we're losing here. But uh, thank, thank you to Chris Hollers, to, you know, all those guys there. Thank you to my team here in town. You know, um, I've got so many, you know, again, my family and my, my sister-in-law, Chow and Sue. Chow was actually running the, alcohol at the event uh, oh, at the mega yes. pickleball event yeah um he you know that was his a great idea and i was like oh sure you know as long as Rick, <laughs> Rick allows it we couldn't we could charge people for the alcohol but we could have it there and, they could, and so you know that was really cool that you know we had an open bar there um so i mean yeah i mean just again we're, we're all growing this together and i'm just so thankful for everybody chipping in and giving him cool advice and helping out and, and especially people like yourselves, Annie and Rebecca, you guys have inspired us to to be better and to do better as well. So, you know, just keep it up. I mean, I'm just, every day I feel like I'm challenged to to make things better for the whole, you know, for the you know whole pickleball community. So um, I love that challenge and I hope that people can see that too and keep growing this game for everyone. Oh, yes. So. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hang mm -hmm. more often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. yeah, no. indeed indeed and thanks again for your time and uh truly just what a beautiful family you have thank you for everything that you bring to the game to the community and to the pickleball chicks yes no. so another another wonderful podcast with the pickleball chicks yeah and i'm rebecca i'm annie and we're, we're the Pickleball, pickleball chicks. chicks, and this is Fouye with Pick Ninja, the best you, paddle on the market. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, ladies. Keep it up, okay? Hey there. Thanks again for spending time with the Pickleball Chicks and our very special friend, Fouye with Pick Ninja Sports. Enjoy a great day, and thanks again for subscribing. If you have any ideas for the show, be sure to let us know. Bring me the next.